Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, what stand some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. You guys say more. Justin Gaethje Unreal. back from all time. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is one inch taller. The reach is identical. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler. Holding professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, man, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diversity. Oh! He's 
These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Nice hammer fist. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Gaethje. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the... Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, it's in there deep. There you go. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good usage. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. When the opponent turns to the opposite side, he can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 20 seconds to go in round one. Ground and pound strike is true. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov Ready? Ready? versus Justin, the highlight page. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Timing his shots nicely. Good, man. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And hitting on four or five attempts, DC. 80% the accuracy rate thus far against Justin Gaethje. Nice straight punch. Gets to a spot, the tie points. Then he starts to let the knees lock. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Leading from his cheek now. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you... He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He just... Back to the 
their feet here. Takedown defense holds up. Big call for Brooks Lance. Now he gets back to the ring. the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, three seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC lightweight champion Tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the 